Hello again, guys. I'm here to talk to you, everybody, about the suicidalness that everybody goes through lately. Uh. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm talking about you. Okay, um. Pretty much, basically, what I'm saying is there's a. There's at least every 40 minutes or 16 minutes a teenager can, tries to commit suicide. Um. And I'm just here to say to every single girl who thinks that they're worthless, they don't mean shit. Well, you actually do. I mean, if you're here today and you started this a few years ago, then what are you? You're something. You've kept yourself alive for that long. You've been strong. You've been everything a guy likes in a girl. You may think that you don't need a thigh gap. Well, you don't, really. To think of, if you think about it, I mean, I know you may want to put your entire hand like that around your leg, thigh, but really, you don't. Guys like curves, I don't want some twig, bitch. And I swear, if any of my friends that are girls that I know have put a blade to their skin, I will kiss the scars on their skin and I'll still think they're beautiful. No matter what. I never want to lose them. And trust me, I know a load of girls who have put a blade to their skin. And if, in it, if I could fly all the way over there and tell them not to and just put that blade down, I will literally rip the blade from their drawers or bags or wherever they keep them and burn them. Whatever. Because, to be honest, they really don't deserve it. Nobody deserves pain like that. Especially pain that makes the blood beat up on your skin and drip down. But basically what I'm saying is... You are strong. You have been here for... Quite a damn long time. And... If you've been here see, for... Basically... 15 years, and you started this, and you started feeling like this for uh, 5 years, or 4, or 3, or 2, or 1, I don't care. The fact that, the fact of the matter is, you're still here, and I'm damn proud of you. I know that might sound retarded, and believe me, it does sound pretty mental, but there are very few people out there who think that I don't, that I don't care. Like, seriously, you reckon that I don't care? I st I've stayed up night after night after night trying to stop someone from committing suicide or cutting or putting a blade to their skin. I'm there for anyone. I am there for everyone. I don't care what it is. Dating advice, guy, girl advice, something, anything. I'm here. I care. Unlike some people who who obviously don't care and just say, go kill yourself or go die. What's wrong with you? Why would you tell someone to end their own life? I mean, your life must be pretty shit to get someone to kill themselves, to be honest. And if you think, and if you think someone should die because of something they haven't done at all, I think it's pretty fucked up. And to be honest, May God have mercy on your soul, you fucked up asshole. I cannot get through... I cannot get through my head... <laughs> how fucked up this society is to get someone to do that to themselves. I will... I will never get it at all. Um... I have many friends, <laughs> at least... 80 of them, no, not 80, like, nearly, like, over 100, who have put a blade, or will put a blade to their skin. And they shouldn't. I know that guys feel pain as well, and believe me, I'm there for them as well. I'm there for freaking anyone. I don't care what it is. Um, I've, I've run out of things to say, but all I can say to, all I can say is that every girl is beautiful. Every girl is perfect to me. Guys, there's no need to put it back to your skin, dudes. You guys, your fighters, your warriors, even Demi Lovato, 
she's what in her 17th month of being clean. Yeah, you can do it. All you gotta do is drop the blade, destroy the blade, do something with that blade, get rid of it. Forget everything that has made you depressed in your life. Or at least try and start again. Because I had to. I started again when my dad left my mother. And that was pretty tragic. And I still can't get over the fact that he did it. He ruined my childhood pretty much. No offense to him at all. But that's how I felt. And my mother's been there for me since day freaking one of my life. And I can't thank her enough for it. My friends on Twitter, they, especially the ones in some of the videos that I've uploaded, they've been there for me since I've met them. My friend Mackenzie, that's 12 years, man. I've lived, I've been her best friend for 12 years. I dated her three times. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I said fuck, I don't care. I still, I don't have feelings for her at all now, but I have, I have, I have feelings for her, but they're friends. And anyone that needs my help, I'm there for them, no matter freaking what. I don't give a flying... Honestly, if you're a hater of me, comment on this video, okay? I honestly couldn't care less. Give me all the hate you got. I couldn't give a flying fuck. Because I'm sick of it. I'm done. I'm done with everyone hating on me. If you want to hate on me, fine, go ahead. It's your opinion. Don't give a fuck anymore. I hope this video will inspire many others out there to not give a flying fuck about what anyone thinks about them. If you want to walk around wearing pajamas or something or some shit down to the nearest mall or some shit, you do it. Who gives a fuck? Don't take shit from no one. My point. It's, you take shit from someone, it's going to get into your head. And believe me, you don't want that. When someone says something to you like, oh, you're gay, so what? It's okay to be gay. Um, what matters in your life is what you believe in. And if someone doesn't believe that, well, who gives a fuck? Uh, basically what I'm saying is I love you all so much. Don't put a break to your skin. You're all beautiful to me. Um, my ex-girlfriend, she left. She's been a bitch. I'm not going to get into it. And this is it. Bye.